You're listening to Radio Mayapur with the best devotional, meditation, kirtan music, and inspirational podcast. This is Radio Mayapur. <clears throat> Hello, good morning, everyone. This is Gangadas, your host for Radio Mayapur, linked to your heart. So today we are in a place which is very beautiful. It's called San Kirtana Dam near Florence, it's a place called Ficule, and uh, today is 12-7-24, and we are very, very fortunate because today there's a meeting and there's a lot of devotees coming from all over Italy, and also we're very fortunate to have with us a wonderful devotee, his name is Gadadar Pran Das. He's born in Athens, in Greece, in 1983, he's relatively new, and young, and he studied as a naval engineer. He was going to build a ship, but then something in his life changed. He joined one big ship called Iskon, Hare Krishna, and then he's still part of the big Sankirtan of Lord Chaitanya. So welcome, Gadadar Pran. It's very great pleasure to be with you today. Hare Krishna. It's very nice to see your enthusiasm every day. I see you in Mongol Arti, you chant and dance, and you are serving Vaishnava, nice prasada, and you're doing so many wonderful services here. And I know you travel for many months around Italy distributing uh, books of Srila Prabhupada. So, Gardar Prabhu, tell us a little bit, of five minutes or two minutes, about your a place where you're born in Greece. Greece is not far away from Italy, it's uh, south of Sicily, right? Yes. Near Sicily. Uh, like uh, east. East, east of Sicily. So, and I've never been in Greece, but everybody who has been there says it's a very beautiful place, uh, many highlands, beautiful sea. Ocean. Almost like Sicily. <laughs> Almost like Sicily, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us, uh, you were born in Athens. Of course, you speak Greek language which is a very ancient culture. Yes, tell us a, bit, a little bit about your family. Yes, uh, I was raised um, in an like, um, artist's family. My parents are both uh, theater actors. Wow. And so I had, uh, like, let's say, um, always inquisitive uh, nature. <laughs> My small child, I was asking many things. Nice. That uh, actually no one can an could answer me, like of like course. teachers in the school or my parents have many questions about life and the goal of life. And uh, so you were very inquisitive from very, your very childhood. Yes, yes. Yeah, very important. Yes, uh, inquisitive, and um, I I tried uh, like a, every young boy different ways to enjoy life of course of course and uh, with no Success, satisfaction no no. satisfaction and uh, so one uh, very fortunate day i met uh, uh, sankirtan devotees on the street in athens from italy or from greece uh, the devotees um, uh, were um, the first devotee I met, <coughs> he was a Greek, Greek devotee. Okay. So he spoke the same language you speak. Yes. Um, in in uh, Monastiraki, uh, the, the tourist area uh, down from Acropolis, from Parthenon, mm -hmm. uh, Plaka Monastiraki, um, he, he used to set a table with the Bhagavad Gita incense and different things from India. Parafernalia. Parafernalia and... Uh, he, I, I was curious, and I, 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 I get, got close to his his table, and uh, uh, he showed me Bhagavad Gita, uh, explained me that God has uh, many forms. He showed me Virat Rupa, etc. The, the, the pictures of the Bhagavad Gita. Nice. Many hands, many <laughs> many mouths. <laughs> I was curious, and the next uh, devotee I met. I always so you purchased the Bhagavad Gita or not? That moment, no. No. But okay. next time, second time I met a devotee. He was uh, uh, the first de devotee I met, Greek devotee. His name is um, Gorgovinda uh, Prabhu. Mm -hmm. uh, very nice devotee, Sangirtan devotee. 
Then uh, the next one, second time I met um, uh, Nanda Kumar Prabhu from Latvia, I think. Latvia, okay. Oh, Leto Letonia, sorry. Letonia. Letonia. And, um, Lithuania. He, Letonia. Yeah. Yeah. And he, he was, um, let's say, temple president. There was a small center. They, they started by Danavir Vasvan Maharaj, mm -hmm. uh, like a branch of uh, Rupanuga Vedic College that he started in Kansas City. So that was a, the second branch in Europe. He nice. started in Athens. Nice. And I uh, had the, Great fortune to meet uh, this. There was two Brahmacharis, Nanda Kumar Prabhu, and um, I. I'm sorry, I, I don't recall Some the name of the other yeah. devotee. Very, very nice devotee. There were two of them uh, running the center, starting the center. And Nanda Kumar Prabhu gave me Sri Shapanishad, the first book I got from him. Uh, it was that was the springtime of 2003. And uh, during summertime, yeah. I, then autumn, the same the same year, when I got back to from vacations to study again, I, I met again Nanda Kumar Prabhu. He asked me, "What about uh, the book? The, how you read? Did the you book? read it?" <laughs> I said, "No, I, not yet. I, I, I was planning to read, but it wasn't yet the time." So we speak a little bit. He, she explained different things. She explained me. And I was talking quite a few time in on the street, I remember. And then he gave me Bhagavad Gita. No. And uh, that was the, the third time and the most powerful, <laughs> uh, let's say, the change, like uh, this, this, this meeting, yeah, changed my consciousness. I, I, I got uh, immediately home chanting Hare Krishna with the Bhagavad Gita in my hand and I started, <laughs> I, I, as soon as I get home, I started reading. Next time I was in the temple. Oh. <laughs> next the next day I was uh, I was uh, I went to to find find out this center. It was quite far away from my my place, and uh, immediately I I felt uh, home when I when I got in the center. The, mm -hmm. the you feel like the, friends and family the, joining again. The incense perfume and. Uh, cooking spices, uh, prasadam, <laughs> and uh, they had the kirtan, prasadam, and everything. It was so, were so nice. And uh, I... How your parents reacted to this? Uh, my parents, um, like I was saying, um, I, I, I grew up in... in uh, they were Atheist. artists and, yes. and uh, let's say, atheists. Uh, atheists. Atheist. So... Uh, they, they, they left, 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 leave us free, me, me and my sister, I have a younger sister, two years younger. Mm -hmm. They left us, um, they preferred to leave us free to choose our religion, our, nice. our faith, like it. And uh, so, uh, quite uh, liberal. And, uh, yes. And uh, they took it um, easy. I mean, uh, 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 like, choice. Thanks, mm -hmm. thanks to Krishna, I didn't have a. Many obstacles, let's say. Right. Um, um, it's, yeah. It was good. Even more. It was good. Now, after so many years, they're very enthusiastic. They make donations. They participate. Nice. And they come nice. to visit us here nice. in Italy every year. <laughs> That's wonderful. And your sister also? My sister also, yes. She's enthusiastic and she likes She's quite conscious. Quite. Nice. Quite interesting. So, what's your experience when you joined the temple? Tell us what happened then. You start to go Sankirtan also, or what did you do? Yes. What service you did in the beginning? Actually, yeah, in the beginning I was very much involved in... I was helping for Sunday feast with a few devotees, so I was trying to serve as much as possible from Saturday. Saturday we used to have uh, Harinams every Saturday in nice. Athens. I was also... I am still very enthusiastic about Harinams and uh, so uh, yeah, helping with the Sunday feast at, until late night we're cleaning, cleaning up everything. the kitchen and everything. It was a great How many people feast. used to come for Sunday feast day? Yeah. In the, the day, these days uh, like 20, even 30 people. This was a small, small place, place but it is getting crowded. <laughs> <crowd. laughs> uh, we had uh, quite ecstatic kirtans every Sunday. Enthusiastic devotees from different 
uh, countries, places. Yeah, 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 yeah. Athens is also a very uh, multinational cosmopolitan, cosmopolitan yeah, city. Cosmopolitan exactly. city. There's people <laughs> from all over the world there. But uh, tell me how from Meta you end up in Italy and in, in this that beautiful was, place. That was Tara Prabhu's fault. I don't know. Tara Prabhu. You know Tara Prabhu. Ah, he, he was, Tara Prabhu from America? Yeah, he, he was yeah. teacher in Mayapur. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tara Prabhu. Yeah, Prabhu, everybody you know, knows. Yeah, yeah, of course. So that was his fault. He, after the first two years, I think he also um, kind of kind of moved in Greece. He was coming, staying many months, uh, like maybe half half months in Greece, half months around Polish tours and Mayapur and like this. And he, he very kindly guided me. In, he helped me a lot in my my beginning of my Krishna consciousness. Nice. Uh, so uh, one one day, uh, no, one day. I mean, she she was suggesting me uh, special vacations every now and then, and nice. every year. Nice. <laughs> we went uh, Polish tour in, with Dajana uh, Swami Maharaj. We went um, Bulgaria, Rata Yatra with Danavir Maharaj. Nice. And different. Hungary, the last time in Hungary, in uh, New Brazil. So yeah, you, you get some experience on some pure uh, nectar. Yeah, many experience. Uh, he, of course, Mayapur. I, I, went, I went to Mayapur in India, and then uh, one one year he asked me, "What about um, why don't how you like the idea to go to Italy?" There's a, I heard there's a nice. Um, Brahma Chari team, the devotees, uh, very enthusiastic in Sangeetan. They're doing 100 books a day. Whoa. They're very fired up. And uh, <laughs> I think he, he suggested me, it, I think it should, it should be good for you to have this experience also because I was always with, with his guidance. I was trying to distribute some books in Greece. Nice. And since quite the beginning, I started trying to distribute Shreperva's books and always uh, this, uh, this service. Um, was always um, very dear to me. Yes. <laughs> uh, I, I, I always feel uh, Lord Chaitanya's uh, Gornitai's mercy, Shrapa's mercy when I go out with books. So, yeah, I was uh, accepted very gladly. And uh, so that's, that's when I went. Uh, it was 2007 when I get first time in Italy. And I started, uh, I met, uh, I, I started First tem temple I visited was in uh, Villaggio di Krishna in uh, mm. Milano, close to Milan, Medelago, Medelago, Sicily Radaraman Temple, yes. where is uh, the, also the, the um, let's say the headquarters court or BBT, BBT in, in, in Italy and Europe, I think. Uh, yes, Madhusudan yes. is in charge, and uh, then uh, there I met uh, also. Through Namasankirtan Prabhu, another very nice devotee from Greece that I, he he also served like um, eight years. He, he did his uh, Brahmachari experience in, in this temple, that temple in Lazare Krishna with Dayanidhi Prabhu, who is now in Greece. Anyway, uh, so from Namasankirtan Prabhu, I, I he introduced me to Bhakti Shakti Prabhu, mm. who is. Um, uh, He's our leader, our leader here. There here in Sangitan Dam and was uh, the, um, the put in charge of uh, before when I, when I, when I, 2007 when I get to Italy the temple our temple the temple uh, was running by Bhakti Prabhu and the devotees uh, base was in Sicily, mm. Catania, so wow. Etna, and uh, beautiful place, volcano, volcanic, uh, yeah, volcanic mountain. area of Etna in Sicily, Catania, and then um, from there we started uh, soon I, I only stayed there 15 days then we started this um, traveling sanctum temple with nice uh, big truck yeah uh, going around italy for five years or so um, you like did a lot of festivals many festivals during summertime usually because the winter time was well, more, more. The base was was more or less uh, fixed in one yes. place. It was, more, it's, it was more difficult to move in winter time. But yeah, uh, lots of uh, great experiences with the traveling Sangitan Temple. And the last, um, like uh, also Vishnu Prabhu definitely explained the last 
12 or 13 years, we got it's this uh, every year. This uh, Sanctan Dam, this uh, community here in Umbria, central Italy, and we started to cultivate the land and. Uh, um, um, it's an agricultural, care of the agricultural of the community. Of the yeah, cows. Cows. You have enough yeah. dumb kills. So. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we hear him. To take show of he goes. <laughs> <laughs> so, but uh, was it difficult for you to learn Italian from Greece? Mm, not at all. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> uh, thanks to the devotees who were trying to translate me in the beginning, like Vishman Prabhu, who knows English and. Uh, you already and, uh, knew English before. Uh, Eng English language, yes. Yeah. And a uh, little bit of French. Uh, I was studying in, in school, so okay. many words are also similar, similar yes. from Greek French to Italian. Italian also. Yeah. So many similarities. Uh, anyway, by speaking, with reading, reading similar purpose books with the devotees, speaking on Sanctum with the people, yeah. uh, it was not... You speak uh, very good Italian. In fact, I... Italian. Uh, it's very difficult to understand that you are from another country, I thought, <laughs> Italian, maybe from the north, I don't know. But tell me, uh, Gadadar Prampru, what was the most uh, astonishing experience you had in your Sankirtan party in the last few years? <laughs> what was the most astonishing, most amazing, most wonderful experience that you felt Krishna has arranged something, miracle? Tell, share something. About. Actually, quite... Uh... Maybe not every day, but, but very almost every day is uh, some miracle is happening on Sagittarius. Beautiful. Uh, That's wonderful. Uh, it's a uh, so special service. I I would not exchange with anything else. Of course, the Krishna gives mercy from any service. Sure. Uh, but the, the, everybody says Sagittarius. Is <laughs> it is so, because there is the desire of Shichetanya Mahaprabhu, yeah. Shichetanya Manovista. We have to distribute this uh, blessing and mercy. Of course, course we know that in, in Sri Prabhupada's movement, uh, yes. every service is, is um, how I say, directed towards the side of Yes, absolutely. absolutely. But yes. being on the first line, like they say, yeah, it's quite a front army. It's quite yes. um, uh, ecstatic, and how you say, yes, a very standard. powerful experience. Very powerful. So tell us one of the experience, only one. One. Tell us, share one, a few minutes. It's difficult to, it's difficult one to recall. The, what, some nectar <laughs> you can share with other, to our listener or Radio Mayapur, what was something which is very, it, it, like it creates more faith in your heart that Krishna is there. I remember in, in, the, in the, maybe first, uh, one of the first traveling experiences I had traveling Sanctan experiences I had in Italy. It was in the north. Uh, Valtellina mm -hmm. area is a very beautiful area. Uh, lot, lots of green and very peaceful area. Mm -hmm. uh, between the mountains and the heat and and, and the rivers. <laughs> very special nature. Anyway, uh, I remember I was doing a small village like this, going door to door. I went, uh, I was, it was like, um, very, repeat, hills, hills, repeat hills. was going, yeah, very, it's, it's very, so, so I, I, I was, cli I climbed until, until the, the last house, <laughs> I remember in this small village, uh, it was, it seems like, uh, I know nobody was living there, like an uh, abandoned place. So I was, um, I, I was, is somebody here, somebody here, hello? Like this, I was trying to contact if somebody was there. So I heard a voice, it was an, an old man, very old. He, he, he hardly speaks, or sp hardly communicates, see or, or speak or hear. Okay. Um, but uh, I, I proposed him the, the proposed books. books. And he took them and he said, yeah, I have to give you a donation yeah, if you like to help us and like this. So I remember he took um, a big amount, maybe a hundred euros or something that at the beginning of the year in Italy. And uh, he told me, is it okay? Like, it's enough like this? <laughs> <laughs> I was amazed because uh, I, I, I wouldn't expect such a thing. It was one of, of, the, of the miracles that maybe not so <laughs> impressive experience. But I, I, I just recall that 
that one. Krishna gave nice. me that to remember nice. now. <laughs> nice. Nice. Yes, it's more, much more experience, but it's difficult to remem- remember oh, them yeah, all. Of course. <laughs> but basically, <laughs> when uh, let me ask you, Gadadhar Prabhu, when you go in Sankirtan, you solely depend on Krishna's mercy, right? You go and say, okay, here I am. I am your soldier. And you want me to dance, I'll dance. You want me to fight, I'll fight. You want me to distribute this book, I'll do it. Correct? Of course, there's no alternative. <laughs> there is no alternative. Fully surrender. <laughs> Fully surrender. Okay, wonderful. That's nice. So then uh, in the winter time here, you do also some other service. Like you say, you plant uh, grains. And... Yes. Actually, me, myself, like, mm, like, like four or five of us were... Like uh, more to Sankirtan, for like let's say Sometimes Sankirtan. The, the Sankirtan devotees of this temple last uh, years that we got more more uh, in activities, one. more involvement in, in other agriculture, other other fields, other other type of services. Mm-hmm. Uh, the in the beginning when we ho- were in uh, Javelin Sankirtan temple, for example, m- most of us were all the time uh, in books. Uh, yes. so it's the main activity. But since we got this uh, this community, uh, things changed a little bit, and uh, like four or five of us, half of us, are going out. Let's say six months totally in the year, in like the year. Uh, in periods, one month, two months, yeah, come back and come back a few days. We we do like this usually, and uh, so when we are here, we're trying to be <laughs> uh, useful. In any growing your food, anyway, growing yeah. vegetables, having machine for making pasta, make your own flour. Exactly. <laughs> and you do a lot of things, you know, it's, it's very beautiful. You make your own cheese, you cook and everything. It's very nice. It's wonderful. Okay, tell us one of the most important sloka that you feel from Bhagavad Gita or any scripture that if you keep in your heart for your prayers, personal prayers. Which sloka you like the most? I I I used to recall the Sanskrit verses, but uh, no, yeah, you can uh, tell us the translation. In, in translation, uh, I think uh, one of the most important verses is um, when Krishna says, "As uh, one surrenders unto me, I reciprocate, them, uh, reciprocate, uh, reciprocate uh, accordingly." Nice. Uh, <laughs> it means that. Uh, yeah, yeah, nice. It's a beautiful. So that means we have to surrender more and more and more. Because there's no limit. There's no, <laughs> there's no limit, yes. <laughs> there's no limit. The mind says, uh, yeah, Krishna's mercy like this, but actually... When you go out there we, and distribute books... We have, we have to surrender more and more, always, uh, every... Every day, every moment. Every moment. Uh, there's no wasting time. No way out. <laughs> Prabhupada said that uh, this devotional service is like a war against Maya. So we are, you are the soldier of Lord Chaitanya. And in Lord Chaitanya's army, you are the front soldier who goes and distributes the mercy. So very nice talking to you, Gandhadar Pran Prabhu. Tell us, yes. May I just, uh, you remind me, like, for, he said, you asked him about the prayer. The thing that I like so much, Sankirtan, is that it uh, helps me to pray. <laughs> yes. To pray re- really also during Japa. Otherwise, um, because of my, I say, karma or nature, I have a very lazy, spaced out mind like this. But when <laughs> I am in Sankirtan, somewhere else, it g- gives me more impetus, enthusiasm to, to chant better Japa and really pray to Krishna to become his instrument. That's why. I love Sankirtan so much. It's Sankirtan Jagya Ki Jai. So, Gadadai Pram, give a message, your message today to the people who are listening to Radio Maya. What is your message from your heart to them? A parting message. Whatever you feel. I. I'm extremely grateful and and uh, eternally grateful to all the devotees of the Lord who are just like the trees. They can they are full of compassion for the for the conditions they can fulfill the desires of everyone. And 
because of, of your mercy, oh, <laughs> I I'm also somehow or other I devote this mercy, I'm still here trying to serve you. <laughs> and uh, I I beg for your blessings to that so that I I can continue and strive to serve you better. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much, Gadadar Prabhu. I'm sure that the Lord will bless you more and more <clears throat> as you keep your determination to this with Prabhupada books. Because if Prabhupada is happy and devotees are happy, Krishna becomes very happy. And so definitely Krishna will bless you unlimitedly. Thank you so much for being with Thank us you, today. Hare Thank Krishna. You. Hope to see you in Mayapur very soon. Thank you so much. Shri Prabhupada ki jai. jai. Ananta Godiyosh Navrinda ki jai. Good Premanande. Hare Bo. You're listening to Radio Mayapur with the best devotional, meditation, kirtan music, and inspirational podcast. This is Radio Mayapur.